We had our client just drop off their earth roamer today and we're gonna do a full pass Victron upgrade on it. Previous owner already put two 300 amp hour rely on batteries down low, but they just tied it into the old system, which was designed around AGM batteries. It's not very good practice to tie lithium batteries directly to your starter battery. It can cause a lot of problems. So we're going to come in and install a Victron system, multi plus 3000 in this space here. Uh, and we're gonna isolate the starting batteries from the lithium batteries with some Orion 12-12-30s. So that way we get a nice safe, safe charge without uh, damaging the uh, alternators or overloading them. And that's also gonna give us a proper three-stage charge to get our, our voltage up high enough to, to top that lithium off all the way. So yeah, starting on this today and hopefully have it wrapped up uh, by Friday. So pretty, pretty fun project. Uh, we're gonna do a little walkthrough on this earth roamer that we just finished up uh, doing an install on. So let's take a look at the inside. Hop on up in here. Uh, initially in here, they were just using a standard relay to connect the chassis batteries to the house batteries. Um, and so when you upgrade to lithium, uh, it's, it's kind of a big no-no. Um, so what we did is we came in and we actually installed three of the Victron Orion 12-12-30s. Uh, this is a F550 chassis and it's got dual alternators. Um, so we have plenty of power under the hood. Uh, we're able to get around 90 uh, watts or 90 amps of charge current, um, just under a thousand watts of power off the engine. We opted to stay with the 12 volt system. One reason being the client already had the 12 volt batteries. And also we kept the functionality of the combiner switch. So they can combine the house batteries and the chassis batteries in an say, emergency where your engine battery dies and you need to jump the vehicle with the house batteries, you can still do that. Um, as well as they also have some really big winches on the front and rear so they can combine the banks to run those winches as well. Um, which is kind of how Earth Roamer designed the rig uh, from the factory. Um, so we removed the, the um, Xantrax inverter, upgraded them to a Multi Plus 3000. They've got a 150-70 solar controller here. And then, we, like I said, we upgraded the Orions. So now we're getting a really nice solid charge current when the engine's running. Before, when we brought it in, I was seeing about 18 amps of current. And the batteries were sitting like right at 13.5. Um, now with the Orions, we were getting, you know, 90 amps of charge current, and we're going to push that up to, you know, the 14.2, 14.4, uh, even with the voltage drop from the cable run. So a lot more charge current, a lot more efficient. We can take a look up here on the screen, and you can see we've got our Touch 50 up here, um, displaying all of our information, and we'll go ahead and fire the rig up, and you can see how much charge current we're actually getting. All right, so we programmed the Orions with a two minute start delay. That way, you know, you fire up the engine, those alternators get to devote all their power to the chassis batteries to kind of bring them back up real quick. Um, so after that start delay, we'll start to see charge current coming into the house battery bank here in just a minute. The DC power will actually turn to a negative number and the energy will start flowing into the battery. Right there we go. So now you can see the Orions kicked on and our DC power is now pushing into the batteries and we're getting 83 amps of charge current, just under a thousand watts of power coming in. We'll get a nice healthy charge now off the engine while it's running and you know, keep these guys out there and then they'll know where for longer. So really stoked on how the install came out and uh, yeah, hopefully we get to do another one. This is definitely one of the 
higher quality uh, builds that we've got to work on. You know, you can tell that Earth Realmer definitely takes some pride in, in how they build these things out and the wiring and everything was really clean and really nicely done. So yeah, it's a fun one to work on.